guys, so I'm going to apologize very quickly for not being clear in my previous, previous video. The first video I made about the fat packs and how I was going to instead buy cases, buy fat packs. When I made the video and I saw the video, so I, that's one of the only videos I actually uh, have seen of my own. I thought it was pretty clear that we should all buy fat packs. And before you guys say, oh, I can't get fat packs at 2850, you can get fat packs even after the announcement and definitely before the announcement at $28 from places like Miniature Market, which definitely will honor its pre-order had you made it before they decided $28 was no longer a good price. How did I get $28.50? Where did that price per fat pack come from? It came from Miniature Market. So the store owner has the same distributor as Miniature Market. So I felt that, or they had the same ordering fees, like it's the same person essentially who's distributing fat packs to that network of people. So you could have got as many as 20 fat packs for $28 at Miniature Market, a place that is very honorable. I've never heard of them canceling a pre-order. So if you had ordered them at 28, they were already been at your house already. I made that video and I felt like I was very clear in what I wanted to accomplish uh, or why I was changing fat packs into, why I was changing boosted cases, boosted box cases into fat pack cases was because I felt that there was a strong possibility of there being 84 art lands. Now, at some point, you know, when you look at it, it's all, it's 95% of the comments are saying you, no four art lands, it's been confirmed that there's no four art lands and even today, People are saying that, which doesn't make any sense, but hey, uh, you deal with that sometimes. And you can read all these comments. I'll have a list of comments. And this is not just all. I mean, when I mean all, I meant, I literally mean like 90% of the comments are people telling me that there are no four art lands and fat packs and it would be too good of a deal if that happened. But that's why I showed you why and the when. I pretty much defined pretty clearly in that video. The video is timestamped, so it's not like I went in the past and made a video. That video's been uploaded on that day. The how, I didn't tell you. Like, I could have told you miniature market, and there was, and people were saying, oh, you're trying to hide that fact from us. No, I'm very clear. Like, I ordered from David Adams, I ordered from miniature market, I ordered from different suppliers, di different uh, distributors directly of uh, your other store channels. Like, I'm very clear at, normally how I did it, but in that case, I made a mistake. So it was my bad, I should have told you how to order it, or where, so how and where. So how would be, you know, this is a trusted website, you don't want to order from a non-trusted website. I've had so many pre-orders canceled on me in the past that I only really ordered from a few different places, miniature market being the main one when I want to stockpile, right? And so that was not very good, the where, uh, again, I don't remember ever saying miniature market is where you can get fat packs for that amount at that time. Because remember, my videos are made a week or two in advance. Um, this w video is probably going to be uploaded Sunday, but it was made, you know, Saturday. And then there's some videos on the tail end of it. The videos on Saturday are made this Saturday, right? So I would say that was bad. And next time, I really do want to help my subscribers budget. That is very important for me. And as this channel kind of evolves, I realize I can't run from the MTG finance aspect of this channel because that's actually what makes my channel unique. So um, I, next time, when there is something like this, I will tell you in more detail exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I think the why and the when part, I, the when part is very obvious, it's just whenever that video was posted, and the why part is pretty obvious because I said 84 lands, or I said four art lands and fat packs. And that was a speculation at that point. But the how you accomplish it, and the where you would order from, and those two were not, those two were either non-existent in that video and other videos, or I didn't make it clear enough. Because in my head, it's just so obvious because I've ordered so much from Miniature Market from uh, in my other distributor channels that it's just like, oh, instant, instant buy. Okay, buy, 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 buy. And it's actually not as um, easy as, as it seems, I feel like. It's kind of like teaching magic to a new player. It seems easy to you, but it might be a lot of stuff that you're glossing over. It's actually the important stuff, like 
where do you order fat packs for $28? And the $28.50 was over market price at the time. You have to realize that. The $28.50 or it turned out to be $20, $30 worth tax and stuff because we're in a great state of Texas and tax is like 8%. So $30 actually was way over the market price of a fat pack. It sounds ridiculous to say that, but fat packs were $28 with no tax. Uh, yeah, there's a shipping fee and stuff like that, but I, I, when you order in like large volumes, it doesn't really, I mean, it doesn't really count as that much. So anyway, next time I'm going to do a better job. I do apologize for not helping my subscribers uh, figure this out, but next time I'm going to do a much better job uh, explaining the how and the where. So hopefully we get something like this soon and I can make a video and that will help out a lot of you guys.